And new at six right now, Denver police officers are involved in three shootings in four days. It's a pretty startling number. Well, now we're learning more about each of those incidents. Two suspects were killed by officers. In one case, the suspect was wounded, but six innocent bar goers were also hurt. Now five cops are on administrative leave. You can see where the three incidents happened. Two of them on the north side of the city in Globeville, the other at 20th and Larimer in Lodo, just as the bars were closing after a busy Saturday night. There are still many questions around that latest incident that injured all those bystanders. We learned much more about exactly what happened today. Jamie Leary, Jamie, you were at the news conference. Police say they had to make a split-second decision. They really did, Jim, and the incident happened right outside the beer hall here on Larimer Street. The suspect was standing right in this area facing officers. You can see one of the rounds they fired landed right here in the beer hall fence. Of course, we saw those still images for the first time today. Very clear it was a split-second decision they had to make, but now an external investigation will determine if their actions were justified. After witnessing a fight, police say they asked Jordan Waddy to stop, but he ignored them, walked away, then pulled out a gun. Move the muzzle in, right in the direction of the officer who's present there. A frame from an officer's body camera shows that moment and the split-second decision officers made to open fire. One discharged two rounds, the other four. The shooting incident occurs in two seconds. It's, he goes around and two seconds later, the shooting is done. Here's another view of the side of the suspect from a third officer's camera. He too recognizes that Mr. Wadi has retrieved a firearm and that the officers who are directly in front of him uh, are in jeopardy. Police say this officer fired one round at Wadi with a number of people in the background. It's unclear which of the officers actually hit bystanders, but at least three people were struck by bullets, including the suspect. Those on scene were in disbelief, wondering if police made the right decision. Everyone's running, scared for their lives. It's hard to wrap my head around that, like, it wasn't civilian shooting, it was the police. Denver's police chief says while the priority is helping all six bystanders injured, they'll also look at what needs to change within the department. If uh, there are policy violations, we will hold folks uh, accountable. If there are training uh, efforts, we will improve uh, training, any and all efforts to keep our community safe. And the officers involved in this incident each have three years on the job here in Denver. It does sound like a lot of officer-involved shootings uh, recently, but it's actually less than this time last year. We're at five right now compared to this time last year, which was six.